Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here, Wolfenstein The New Order, all collectibles in chapter one. There's a total of 13 of them. Number one, this is as soon as you use the explosive to demolish the big gate. You can also demolish like a box of warheads, but I'd suggest you get the gate. And as soon as you crawl in, you can find this right here. And going from this exact location, you'll want to back out the door we just came in. Turn to your right hand side, sprint up this little mountain, make sure you kill all these guys in this area as I already have. And running down the hall on the main floor, turning to your left will show a vent. Obviously crouch into that vent, walk to the end, turn left into this room and in the room in front of me there is a gold medal on the ground there on the table. It's quite small, make sure you pick that up. Now we'll be showing maps as I kind of continue on, but on this first level here, unfortunately, I did miss a few maps for you guys. After taking down the first turret, you're going to come up this set of stairs into this room, which looks like it has nothing. There is a series of three switches, and they are ordered one, three, and then two. The clue to these is on the wall in this room. Uh, but if you click one, two, one, three, two, it'll open up this secret room. Inside the secret room, you can find Enigma code one, two on the table next to the typewriter. Pretty easy. Moving on a little bit further, just down the hall from the previous one. This one is a letter. I have already picked it up, so I will shoot my gun in the exact location of its spawn. Very, very close, right after the last checkpoint, we'll run down this hall. And before these big stairs, turn to your right and you'll see this room. Inside this room, on this bed right here, you will find a letter. Pick it up, obviously, using the command prompt, and that's the letter right there in my inventory. Number five, this one is a gold goblet. This one is actually very well hidden. Um, coming up to the, this is the second turret. And right after you clear out the second turret with a little room here, you're going to come to this area on the map. That's exactly where I am. So I'll show you. And there's this kind of tarp over these boxes. And you can find a tiny gold goblet sitting underneath uh, the tarp next to the box. A little bit later on, you'll come to this cutscene where uh, your teammate will save you. And then he's going to ask you uh, to be helped up before you use the prompt to get up. And that's going to be like right in front of you. So make sure you do not go up to him and press the prompt. Run down this hallway and you'll find Enigma Code 13 sitting directly in front of you. Now, a little bit later on in this mission, you'll do some stuff. You'll come down these chains. And once you come down these chains, run down the hall. I'm going to show you the map exactly where I am. I'm in the top left, that little green arrow. Um, just run down this hall. Uh, obviously, I've taken care of all the guys as I normally will in most of these videos. Turn to the right hand side. And there's a door there on the far end of this hall where you will find a gold chalice, which is like a cup. You'll want to pick that up. And uh, the next collectible I'll actually show you from this exact location. Turn around and run the other way down the hall. And you'll walk over this uh, wooden walkway that's used to bridge this gap in the uh, floor. Jump down and you will find Enigma Code 14 on the ground next to a box there. Now a tiny bit, uh, going right back up, right where we came from on this little uh, wooden walkway. Come up, turn to the right, up these stairs, and there's gonna be two in this next room. Obviously, take care of that dog, which I did not, and take care of the enemies. You'll find this statue with a gold sword, and that one is a collectible one. That is number nine of 13 in this level, the gold sword. And from that gold sword, I'm gonna, that's the gold sword right there. We're gonna turn towards the paintings, and on the right hand, left hand side of the paintings, you can interact with this sword and it'll open up a trap door. Now, pretty easy from here on out. This is for Enigma code 15. Go up the stairs, follow this little hallway. You can't really screw up once you've activated the trap door. Now watch out, there will be a guard inside this room. Uh, if you sneak, if you crouch and sneak, he will not hear you. Unfortunately, I ran and he did see me. Uh, just kill him, do whatever you want with him. And you will find the Enigma code in the room directly in front of you on the table. You can use this map right here if you're a little confused as to where I am. You can pause the video. And that should be the Enigma code. Moving on a tiny bit further, 
um, into the mission. This is the part where you go outside and use a walkway to get inside of this next building. Um, you'll see that there's going to be a dog right in front of me that I've killed and he'll always be in that spot. So that's a good indicator of exactly where I am. I've also showed you the map. If you follow around here, there'll be these two guys carrying a turret. Take the corner and you'll find this box. Use your knife to destroy the box and you can pick up this gold floorball trophy, which I believe is the last gold item in this level. Enigma code 16. In this big battle in this Colosseum looking uh, area, go to the right hand side, stick to the right hand side wall, continue along to this little opening of bricks and you will find the Enigma code directly in front of you laying right there. So that's going to be your 12th out of 13 collectibles. Next up, the last collectible for this mission. In this area, when you're asked to find a key, go directly forward and look in the most right bin to find Enigma Code 17, the final collectible of the area. Click on the screen for Chapter 2 Asylum if you're interested. You can also make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And hopefully, I see you next time. Peace.